I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Hey friends, welcome back to part two of my summer decorating. If you did miss part one where I decorated around my kitchen, I will leave that linked down below for you to check out. And in today's video, we are setting up a patriotic summer tablescape, putting together vignettes, DIYing, and decorating my entryway and living room for summer. So let's get into it. Don't wanna wake up without you. Baby without Here we have some baby's breath and it's one of my favorite fresh flowers to add to my tablescape and just decorate with because they are very neutral, they're so affordable, and they also last a really long time because I usually let mine just dry out in the vase and they hold their color and their shape really well. Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough These little flags always need to be kind of bent and folded in the opposite direction that they were rolled up in just so I can get them to lay flat. So I'm going in and doing that and then we're adding them to my milk glass vases on my dining room table. I love just how simple and elegant these vases look here and it's so easy to switch them up for each season. Of this feeling you're giving me don't wanna wait. I recently purchased these jute napkin rings off of Amazon and I think they are so perfect for summertime and just complete this tablescape. I brought back out my dough bowl for summer and I thought I would do a really pretty orchid display. I have two sets of orchids here. I will link all of the supplies that I can for this, including the dough bowl down below. We have some decorative moss and then also these really pretty decorative moss balls in various sizes. So let's go ahead and see if we can put this together. I'm starting out with some floral foam and then going in with my Gorilla Tape to secure it to the dough bowl. So 
these orchids are from Amazon and I thought they looked really realistic, but with any faux floral, you do wanna go in and reshape it just so it has an even more natural appearance. So I already bent down the actual flowers, but now I'm just gonna go in and play around with the leaves and then um, I'm going to continue to adjust it once it's in place. One of my favorite things is to come up with creative ways to style my dough bowl, and this one has got to be one of my favorites. It's so versatile for just everyday use. You could put it in almost any room, and for today's video, I think it will be so pretty over on my entryway table. When I'm redecorating a space, I like to choose a theme for each area I decorate. I find that that just helps me gather my thoughts and decide which items that I wanna to group together. So for my summer entryway, I wanted to go with a gardening theme, which is very fitting for us because we have been doing so much gardening so far this summer. So just keeping these tools and baskets here in our reach is so perfect. I was gifted this beautiful pair of wooden corbels a couple months ago and I've been waiting to redo them. They're absolutely stunning. I love all of the design, um, but I did wanna go in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and add in some dimension with some white. I'm not gonna be covering up the brown completely as you'll see, um, but I do wanna go in and kind of just add that wooden white look that I love and I have throughout a lot of my home. So let's get started. I 
at you. I ended up painting these with two coats of the white chalk paint and now I'm going in with a light sander and just sanding down all of the high points just to make it look a little bit more distressed and bring out more of that dark color. these turned out I think they're so pretty and they're textured and I love the wood and white look of them you can never go wrong with some chalk paint if you want to just give a piece some new life so now that I have those done I'm going to take these beautiful lemon branches I love how natural they look they're just I don't know they're just beautiful so I'm gonna take those I have this beautiful glass jar that I'm going to put those in this bead pedestal. I found this from Home Goods. I see them all the time there. And these are great for putting vases on, doing all kinds of things. I just like to have a lot of risers on hand. They're perfect to create little vignettes with. And then another staple of mine for vignettes and shelf styling are old books. I love this set. So I'm gonna take all the stuff over to my living room and create a little vignette on my end table. Now I wanna go in and add some of the basket texture and blue color that I have in my kitchen and dining room into my living room. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know we are getting a puppy in a few weeks, so I wanted to put out this basket that we filled with some of his new toys. We are so excited, and I will be sharing him first over on Instagram, so make sure you're following me over there if you wanna see some cute puppy content. And then I'm switching out two of my white knobby canisters for these two blue ones that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I love the color and pattern and I believe I paid right around $8 a piece for these. I'm constantly switching up my decor but I rarely take everything down and redecorate an entire space completely. That's why I tend to go for very neutral everyday staple pieces so I can easily incorporate touches of my seasonal decor around them. That's that's just a great way to save money but still achieve a seasonal look in your space. I saw this market cart and I just had to pick it up for the kids and I also grabbed this ice cream set and I thought it would just be so much fun for them to play with and a perfect addition for summertime. I will make sure to link both of these down below. My kids have been loving both of them. I 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new here, I post home decor, DIYs, and makeover videos every week and would love to have you subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.